Perfect. Yo, what up guys? Here's Benny Franco. Welcome to my new video. I hope you're all doing good. I'm doing pretty well as always. Today is a beautiful day. Today is Tuesday. I'm free today. I don't have to work in my 9 to 5. So I thought i start in the morning and vlog for you guys a little bit. Yeah, I want to make some beats. I want to make some bangers. I want to do a Q beat style trap beat today with you guys from scratch. I want to show you the process, what I do. I buy a new plugin and I want to show you guys this and want to try it out by myself. So yeah, that's the reason I want to make this video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below what you want to see next. I would love to hear from you guys what you want to see and what you're interested in, what you want to see. My channel is new, so I need a little bit of response from you guys. Or it would be good if I have some response for you guys. Um, yeah, that we can make a great channel out of this. I want to create a nice community thing out of this channel. I want to react with you guys. I want to communicate with you guys. So let's get this. Let's do this. So first I'm now here in my kitchen. I never show you guys my apartment. I live in the beautiful city Munich in Germany, Bavaria. I'm here in my little apartment. I show it you to you guys. Let me switch the camera real quick. That's my apartment right here. Just a quick view. Perfect. And yeah, I make now some coffee and then we make a nice banger together. So stay tuned and we see us in some minutes. Peace. So guys, let's get this started. We are in my studio now. Like I said before, I want to make maybe a kind of Q beat style beat, something old, something sampled, you know. And I buy a new VST yesterday and I want to check it out with you guys. It's Mellotron by the guys from Arturia, they called. I don't check it out very much, I just skip some sounds and it sounds very nice, very old, very sampled and stuff like that. So that's the reason I thought to make a beat like this and share it with you guys that you can see. Maybe you like this plugin also and you can buy it or something like this. So let's jump directly into it and make a nice beat. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a like and comment what you want to see next. So join me on the screen and let's make a straight banger. So I open already a one instance of Mellotron, give it a mixer track and now let's see. I will take a scale for this one. I will go with the harmonic minor scale in B. So harmonic minor B because I think it's one of the nicest scales to create dark and ambi dark melodies, not ambient melodies. You can create good ambient melodies of it too, but I think that's one of the best uh, scales to do that. Anyway, which key I go now with a B because normally I don't go with a B, so I want to try it out how it works. I go with 132 BPM. I will start, maybe we raise it or lower the BPM or something. We will see, I don't know where it takes us. So let's get started. Let's search for a nice sound. Let's go to, like I say, I don't check it out very much too. Maybe let's go with a key. And you hear already, it sounds so old and so sampled. It's, I really like the, the sound of this, you know. And here you can tweak the sounds, you can tweak the tone, the pitch, the volume for sure. And here you can, I have to try it out what means that 
I don't read the tutorial of the uh, of the plugin when when you started the first time. So let's see. Um, octave beat. I think I will go with this octave guitar and then we see start on a B since we have a B. Lower the velocity a little bit and make some chords. In this case I will start Some notes we have to change, but it starts pretty lit. So let's wrap with that, it sounds pretty dope so far. Maybe we change up something, let's search now for a layer sound to layer the whole thing and then we see what we put for effects on it and stuff like that to get it more nice and more good. So I clone the Mellotron one time. Sounds pretty dope, just very much low end, so let's take... Let's see what we put for effects on it to make that sound more nice. Like usual, I will put now. First, we put a isotope vinyl on it. Again, it's a free plugin, you can download it on, on their page. And we go on 1960. It just takes out some of the low frequencies. It's pretty dope. More we don't need to make here. Now, I will put a RC20 on it. Alright, the noise we put away. So I copy the things over to the other. Sounds pretty dope, man. So, and now let's humanize the melodies a little bit. Let's go inside here and let's push Alt S to strum everything and let's see how it sounds. A little bit too much. And now I want to add a flute. Record this. Something like this, maybe we change it then. Let's see, let's quantize that. We have 
have to fix the timing real quick. Let's see how it sounds together. Perfect, so let's start with the drums. Let's copy that over and make simply a four step first. And then make them longer, copy it over and make a mistake. Exactly. And I want the hi-hats that they go stop and something like this that we get a nice bounce going. So let's try it and make a nice hi-hat pattern. Sounds so good so far, a little bit too loud, but anyway, and now we search for a other hi-hat, a little bit more short, almost like a stick. Or a little bit higher, maybe like this, just to give some bounce, maybe all four. No, we, we take all four, make it like this, make it like that, make them more silent. We have a track and we make this very silent. that we have some more bounce going, you know? So guys, I'm back. I made a little break yesterday because some friends come over and we make some beats together and we chillin' and something. And I bought a new lens today. Perfect! Yesterday we stopped by the hi-hats, I just added this second hi-hat, just a simple two-step hi-hat pattern and every second note I allow the velocity to give it a more humanized feel. And yeah, there we stopped, so we go on and finish this beat. So let's see what we get and where were you taking it. So let's start and make this beat finish. And we take this 808. Normally I go very simple with my 808s, but maybe I think this time in purpose of this tutorial and this vlog I will make a very crazy 808 with crazy slides and stuff and and one simple one and I will ask you guys that you tell me in the comments what you prefer what you like more and then let's see what is better and yeah <laughs> maybe something like that but first no first we do the complex 808 so I will freestyle now a little bit I play something and maybe we change it at the end in the piano roll something like this and now we will fix the notes and stuff like that let's quantize that real quick and now let's get crazy on this one all right 
So now on the glides, I will go like left and right, I will pan it. You can do that if you change here from velocity to pan, you can change <coughs> to the left and the right. So I will make that like here, this like here, this like there. And all the lights I will do like this. This one we need more exactly. And let's see how that sounds if we glide it. Sounds better, so take this and bring it up to here. And now we will make just a simple one to see which sounds better. Like I said before, in my opinion, more simple 808s, especially in music nowadays, makes more sense because the rapper have more space or the artist. Um, but you can do it in your taste, but I think if you want to sell beats and stuff like that, you have to keep the 808 line very simple or the beats more simple because if you overdo it, the beat is too full and the artists don't have space on it and that's the reason. guys now it's your turn tell me which 808 line you like more in my opinion it's the simple one but let me know in the comments which you prefer and which you like maybe I will use both one in the par one in the verse and one in the hook but let's see how the beat turns out now let's move on to the perks <laughs> something like this once this bad boy is mixed this beat goes stupid hard man for real So guys, that's the beat so far, that is how it sounds. And now the flute. This one goes stupid hard, really nice, I really enjoy this beat. Let me know in the comments what you think about Yeah, so, I will arrange the thing, I give it a quick mix and play it at the end for you guys, that you can hear what we did so far, like always. I hope you enjoyed this video, I had really fun to make this beat. So, subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, like the video if you like it. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter at Benny Franco or Beat Fanatics, I would really appreciate it. I uh, post there many other content, videos and stuff like that, and may you like it. So, enough words, have a nice evening, have a nice day. Thanks for your support. We see us in the next one. Peace. Benny Franco got the sauce, boy.
Anthony Franco got the sauce, boys.